The wedding is at the top. You go over the top, is the wedding, and then you just scream it. <laughs> so even if you make plans, you never think you're really... Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Heart Harmony. I am Janoka. Tony here. What up? And we had a top... I think I read it on Twitter somewhere about marriage and, like, why do people get married? Has it changed from back then to now? I asked Tony, why did he propose? He gave me a blank stare. Like right now, <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weird topic to to talk about. You, you know, you ask somebody why did they get married, you obviously gonna say because I love them. You're not gonna say oh because of the tax write off that comes after the first Whoa! year of marriage. You're able to deduct about some of your your marriage costs and oh yeah, all that stuff. Who's Who even thinks that? about that? I definitely don't even think about that. No idea. Let me get comfortable for this one. So, all right. So, I, the first thing is, like, has marriage changed from back then to now? I think marriage has changed. I think today it's more of a business. Uh, back in the day, it was because you needed financial security. So, I, that's kind of similar. So, maybe it didn't change. Maybe then it was more financial security as a family, but now it's more of a business. The two different labels. One is a little bit colder than the other. I guess. I don't know. Financial security versus a business definitely sounds... I don't know. I don't think we're a business. Well, I'm saying that's why some people get married. For... Oh, some people. What about us? Oh, it's about us. Oh, okay. Yeah, so why do we get married? So could we have done what we're doing now without marriage? Of course, but there was a reason that we decided not to go that route. What would you say your reasoning is? I think my reasoning was because my mom and my father were both married to each other. Um, and I knew that growing up. I mean, they got divorced eventually and... Long story short, um, my father passed, but I knew that they were married. We were, we were family under the household. And my mom got with my stepfather, but they weren't married. But that didn't change the dynamic of the family. But I think growing up these days, you don't, a lot of, you don't see a lot of young married couples. And I wanted to make sure that we weren't that stereotype and we're just, we're no problem. Not, you don't have to get married, but we weren't, I don't want to be that stereotype. Okay. What about for me? <laughs> Let's see, why did I want to... I don't think... See, that's the thing. Marriage wasn't like a big goal for me, maybe because my parents were not married. I do have family... I do have um, aunts and uncles that are married that are like goals that I've seen throughout my life that I always loved and stuff like that. But it wasn't the, like, I guess the end goal all the, all the time. But so once... Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. You had a question. I, was, I wasn't a question. I was going to say, so like with us sitting on the couch, it's kind of like the black love doc. When he's sitting on the couch talking. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? What, let me see. And then also, I think back then, or like older relationships, sometimes people stick through longer than now. Yeah, I think, I think now people are like, nope, ain't with it. I think because it's, I think it's less about now versus then. I just think our generation wants everything immediately. They want instant satisfaction, instant gratification, i.e., the purpose of credit cards and that type of stuff. But we, then it also depends because we like, don't have patience. Yeah, but it depends. Like some couples back in the day, you hear like your grandfather had like nine kids with <laughs> mad different baby mothers yeah. and your grandmother stayed. Like that, you know, I don't know. That type of thing is like not something you want to compare to. But then you have other relationships that have been together for 50, 60 years and, you know, that they make it work or whatever the case may be. So I don't know. It depends. Different relationships, different things. And then why do you think relationships don't work sometimes? Marriages. Obviously it depends. Money, patience. children, different things. I but... think patience is a lot of it. I mean, we all we all make mistakes as adults, but do you have the patience to kind of talk it out, go through whatever hard time you're having and or the move love. move forward from there? A lot of people don't have that patience. Patience I think well, I don't is... think that's just it, because you're not really a patient person either. But But are you patient or are you willing enough to kind of stick through the hard times and not just be there for the good? Or the love for each other, I think. And I think also sometimes maybe unrealistic goals people yeah. have for marriage. Because you know you all the time, like, so I know, what? I like, know when I got married, I thought, you know, she won't do all the dishes and the chores. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> Please. That ain't, that ain't happen, y'all. That's not, that's not my life. That's not. But we no. knew that before we got married. So. <laughs> exactly. That's not my life. And what, was, what else I was going to say? Unrealistic goals. Because people always like, oh, so what changed when you got married? We spoke about this before, though. Yeah. I think that if you live together, I don't think much changes, but... No. What else is there? Anything? I think that was it. Okay. Well, let us know what you think in regards to 
why do people marry get married why did you get married what has changed from the past to now if anything thank you for listening comment subscribe share peace out a sound